Um, and there's something else, unfortunately, that wants to get you a trick. I'm afraid you're going to see it in the moment. All right. Which is oh the the pads yes. Look on the next page, trash. Lots of. Yep, I saw them post those, and they break everybody's heart. And people, there's got to be a solution. <clears throat> a lot of it is from the some of the big box parking lots. Mm -hmm. um, boy, it's just any 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 manner of reasons as well. Thank you, Jeff, very much. Um, that, that that stuff gathers, and uh, and then during rain events, washes into our waterways. That's right, and it's, it's a known problem. It's been known since at least 2010, because it's, uh, there's a picture of it in the Valdosta Stormwater Master Plan, published in 2010, and it's described in that plan. So it's been known for a decade. Traps is what we're talking about, being a one solution. It's not going to be the complete solution, but uh, <clears throat> Tim, Tim Carroll, our councilman, and I had a conversation yesterday, and he really is pushing for those traps. That's right. We've actually put in a grant proposal to Coca-Cola for a couple of trash traps there. You, you think of a box about uh, five feet uh, wide of uh, chicken wire with a couple of booms sticking out at an angle in front to draw the trash into it. That's basically what they are. So uh, the, the grant would pay for the first year, but then there's got to be ongoing maintenance, which, of course, you know, people in the city are concerned about. But there are ways to raise that money. Tim Carroll thinks he knows how to do it. Well, I don't know if you heard on the way in, but after I'm done being mayor, I, I applied for that job to be the guy that got to get on the river a couple times a week and, yeah. <laughs> and clean that stuff out and pick up some of that mess just to be on the river day after day after day. I'd, I'd No, I wouldn't volunteer. I'd want to get paid. Well, the thing about it is there is pay for that. The way the current, the, the Osprey organization we're getting the traps from, if we get this grant, the way they do it is they hire local people to do that, and they can do that either directly or they send the money back to the riverkeeper to do it. We're going to start with directly, probably switch to the other. And then, yes, there will be some pay to local people to do that because, you know, we don't like this stuff. Uh, you know, here's all sorts of plastic bottles. Here's a big styrofoam cooler. Lots of cups. Yeah, and some of them, uh, you know, this, these, these pictures I'm thumbing through, you can find them right on walls.net, www.als.net. Um, and this, uh, some of these are behind Wood Valley. Here's somebody's house you can see. And there's a floating raft of trash right down no. from Wood Valley. And if you keep going down river, and you know, some of this stuff, you may wonder, is this really coming from Sugar Creek? Well, Zacadoos. Here's a Zacadoos cup right there. Easy, easy to track. So if you wonder, a lot of times you'll see somebody's a bag blew out, hits the side of the road. A lot of our crews... <clears throat> when that's identified, go out and clean up a lot of that stuff. But if we don't get to it before a, a rain, before it all starts washing, guess where it ends up? It ends up in every teeny little creek that leads to the bigger rivers that lead to the every... So uh, eventually it's in our waterways. That's the only place it has to go, John. And this one here where it's against the log, that log is right in front of where we're talking about putting takeout for Troop Hill River Camp. Not very attractive for ecotourism. No, not at all. And sure, some of this is individuals, bags of trash, but most of this stuff is coming from the big parking lots with fast food outlets. We have one good example so far, which is uh, a company called Stafford owns the parking lot a lot on uh, St. Augustine Road at Hightower Creek. Uh, you can see Enterprise Rental Car in there. Enterprise is probably not doing this, but people get their food at the restaurants and they go down by the creek and they eat. And now, fortunately, the thing is the company that owns that changed their contract with their contractor where they're keeping it out of the creek. So that's a success story. There's a further step, which is, according to city ordinances, Valdosta ordinances are actually quite good about this. Businesses with parking lots like that are supposed to have a certain number of trash cans per number of parking spaces. And the only company in Valdosta that does that is Walmart. Because of an incident several years ago... Thank you, Walmart, by the way where their trash was blown across the road onto a different property that was had nothing built on it. <laughs> the owner of that property happens to be a prominent local attorney who got those ordinances in force. So Walmart has those trash cans. Who said, I have I generate nothing, I, I draw no traffic, I produce nothing, and yet look at the trash on my on my big empty piece of property. That's right. Oh well, um, <laughs> understandable. 